Hi, Mateusz here. I'm a technology evangelist at Divante. Divante is an e-commerce software house. We are also a core contributor of Spartacus project. Spartacus is a lean, Angular-based JavaScript storefront for SAP Commerce Cloud. If you'd like to read more about it, check out my recent blog post. It should be linked below this video. Now, I'd like to show you how to quick start the development of Spartacus project. First of all, we have to create a new Angular app. We do this using command line interface. ng new my store style scss. Okay, our application has been created. Let's open it with Visual Studio Code. Let's run the application. And browse localhost 4200. We can see Angular starter app. Let's get rid of this boilerplate code. Let's open app component. Select all and delete all. Now we have a blank page and we can start with Spartacus. We will install Spartacus using schematics. Schematics is a Angular feature that allows us to install some dependencies and add template code to our application. We do this using command line interface. The command is ng add at Spartacus slash schematics. Here we can pass some options. I would like my application to be a progressive web app, so I pass PWA option. I would like also uh, our application to be able to be server-side rendered, so I pass SSR. Now I can uh, pass some configuration options for Spartacus, for example base URL. Base URL is the address of our uh, backend instance with which Spartacus is communicating. I'll also select here a base site, which is electronic spa. It takes a little bit of time, but it's worth it. Finally, Spartacus has been installed. As we can see, CX storefront component has been added to our app. Let's see what else has changed with our project. In package.json, some dependencies have been installed, like assets, core, schematics, storefront and styles. These are all Spartacus libraries. But also some third-party libraries have been added, like Bootstrap, Express, and so on. It is also important to see the app module. Here we can find configuration of our Spartacus. Here is the base URL that we've set up during the installation. And here is the base site. There are also some other configurations that I'll explain in the next videos. Now, let's run our application and see how it looks like. Now we can see a full featured e-commerce app. Let's go through this. We can browse some categories, visit a product page, check product details and specification, and we can also find some cool product and add it to cart. We can view our cart. Here is a product that I've, that I've added here earlier. I can, I can remove it and proceed to checkout. That's it for this video. Let me know if you liked it. I'll also appreciate suggestions for the topics for the next videos. Bye!